with some additional problems. If a person invests 25,000 at 9% annual rate of interest, find the amount he will get at the end of 5 years in each case. So first case is interest compounded annually. So in this case, you have to consider the 9% as it is and the N value as 5 and they use the same recurrence relation which we have seen. Next is compounded half yearly. So here you have to convert this 9% uh, as a half year interest which will be 9 divided by 2 into 1 divided by 100 and then the number of years it is 5 years. So in 5 years how many half years it will be 5 into 2. So that is the change you have to do it. Next is compounded quarterly that is the rate of interest to be divided by um, 4 and the month this year has to be multiplied by 4 that will be your n value and uh, monthly compounded so it is this 9 divided by 12 into 1, 1 divided by 100 and uh, this uh, 5 years will be nothing but 5 into 12 will be the n value so if you apply those uh, then you will get these values next is if nara invest 100 rupees at 6% interest compounded quarterly how many months she has to wait for her money to get doubled so here if p0 is 100 and the rate of interest is a 6% per annum so it has to be converted into quarterly so it is 6 divided by 400 so that will be your r value and uh, n has to be uh, computed and uh, pn is given as 2 times p0 so by substituting the given value you can see that the answer is 141 months Next, let us see the second order linear homogeneous recurrence relations with constant coefficients. Here, the second order linear homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficient is a recurrence relation of the form Cn An plus Cn minus 1 An minus 1 plus Cn minus 2 An minus 2 equal to 0 n greater than or equal to 0. And the solution of this will be An equal to Cr raised to n, some constant into root rise to n where c not equal to 0 and r not equal to 0. By substituting this an equal to c r raise to n into the given recurrence relation we get c n c r raise to n plus c n minus 1 c r raise to n minus 1 plus c n minus 2 c r raise to n minus 2 equal to 0. Now the common factor here you can observe here is c into r raise to n by 2. So we will get c n r square plus c n minus 1 r plus c n minus 2. It is a quadratic equation which is called as a characteristic equation. So the characteristic equation of this is a uh, two day roots you will have because it is a quadratic equation. So the roots r1 and r2 fall into three cases. First case is r1 and r2 are distinct and real. Second one is R1 and R2 are complex and the third one is real and equal. We will see each of the case. Case 1, R1 and R2 are distinct and real. For example, if you see, solve the recurrence relation An plus An minus 1 minus 6 An minus 2 equal to 0. N greater than or equal to 2 and A0 equals to minus 1 and A1 equals to 8. And this uh, characteristic equation of this given recurrence relation is r square plus r minus 6. Why r square here is the constant of a n is 1 and the constant of a n minus 1 is 1. So this is 1, this is also 1. And the constant associated with a n minus 2 will be the constant in the characteristic equation. So the roots of this are minus 3, 2. So therefore, we know that the roots are, uh, the general form will be a n equals to minus 3 raise to n and a n equals to 2 raise to n with some multiple constant. Therefore, a n equals to c1 into r1 raise to n plus c2 into r2 that is 2 raise to n. This is the general solution with a0 equals to minus 1 and a1 equals to 8. Now, by substituting uh, n equals to 0, I get one equation that is minus 1 equal to c1 plus c2. And by substituting n is equal to 1, I will get another equation 8 is equal to minus 3c1 plus 2c2. So by solving this linear equation, I will be getting c2 equals to 1 and c1 equals to minus 2. So by substituting c1 and c2 in this equation 1, I will get the general solution as a n equals to minus 2 into minus 3 raised to n plus 1 into 2 raised to n with n greater than or equal to that is the general solution. So likewise uh, the same uh, 
uh, real and distinct roots if you want to solve you can take these examples so solve an plus 2 plus b an minor an plus 1 plus c an equal to 0 and here they have given a0 a1 a2 a3 so if here they have given so first you need to write down you have to get the values of b and c by substituting uh, n equals to 0 1 you will get uh, two equation n equals to 2 and 3 you will get some equation so by solving that you will get b equals to minus 4 and c equals to minus 21 so now that will be your recurrence relation then that recurrence relation find the characteristic equation write the roots and uh, substituting the val initial values you can get the solution as an equals to 1 by 10 7 raised to n plus minus 1 by 10 into minus 3 raised to n. This is already shown here how this uh, recurrence relation is solved. Next is an equals to 5 an minus 1 plus 6 an minus 2. So the uh, characteristic equation of this is r squared minus 5r plus minus 6 equal to 0. So the roots are 6 and minus 1. So by substituting the uh, uh, R1 equals to 6 and R2 equals to minus 1, you will get the general solution An equals to C1 into 6 raised to n plus C2 into minus 1 raised to n and by substituting n equal to 0 and n equals to 1, you will be getting two linear uh, equations and by solving them, you will get the values of the C1 and C2. So, the solution will be An equals to 4 by 7, 6 raised to n minus and plus 7 3 by 7 into minus 1 raised to n n greater than or equal to 0 this will be the solution next is find the recurrence relation for a binary sequences of length n that have no consecutive zeros so here you can you have to write the recurrence relation and solve that recurrence relation so, suppose n is greater than or equal to 1, an represents the number of sequences of length n, which is a valid, which does not contain consecutive zeros. So, an of 0 is nothing but count of those which end with 0 and an of 1 is count of those which end with 1. So, a1 is equal to uh, 2 because you can have the string of uh, length 1 which could be either 0 or 1 and a2 will be the a1 concatenated by 0 or 1 that a1 concatenated with either 0 or 1 and if a1 ends with 0 then only 1 has to be concatenated and if a1 ends with 1 then either 0 or 1 can be concatenated to get the valid string. So therefore an equals to 2 an minus 1 of 1 which ends with 1 plus 1 into an minus 1 0. So since uh, we know that a2 is nothing but 3 that is uh, you have two uh, three valid strings uh, of length 2 that is um, 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 next a1 you have either 0 or 1 which indicates there are two strings so a1 equals to 2 and a2 equals to 3 so therefore we write it as an and uh, this uh, it implies that an minus 2 equal to an minus 1 now we can uh, split this 2 times an minus 1 1 as an minus 1 1 plus an minus 1 and this together is forming an minus 1 and uh, this an minus 1 1 will be equal to an minus 2 therefore the recurrence relation will be an equals to an minus 1 plus an minus 2 with n greater than or equal to 3 and a1 equals to 2 and a2 equals to 3. So now you can solve this recurrence relation. Next is a case 2 where R1 and R2 are complex roots. So for which we should know that De Moivre's theorem which states that cos theta plus i sin theta raised to n is equal to cos n theta plus i sin n theta. And if I have a complex number z is equal to x plus i y then z can be written in the polar coordinate form as r into cos theta plus i sin theta. So where r is equal to square root of x square plus y square and y by x is equal to tan theta and uh, which implies theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x. So therefore z raised to n will be equal to r raised to n into cos n theta plus i sin 
n theta. Now an example if you solve, solve the recurrence relation a n equals to 2 a n minus 1 minus a n minus 2 where n greater than or equal to 2 and a 0 equals to 1 and a 1 equals to 2. Now here a n equals to t c r raised to n. The recurrence uh, relations characteristic equation will be r square minus 2 r plus 2 equal to 0 which implies r is equal to 1 plus or minus i. So, if you compute this, uh, you see that the complex roots uh, root is 1 plus or minus i. Then 1 plus i is equal to root 2 into cos pi by 4 plus i sin pi by 4 and 1 minus i is equal to root 2 into cos pi by 4 minus i sin pi by 4. So, here but how you got pi by 4 here is uh, in this case uh, x and y values uh, will be 1 and 1. So, tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4. So, you will get cos theta is nothing but pi by 4. And uh, what is this uh, root 2 is nothing but it is r by r. So, r is nothing but square root of 1, 1 square plus 1 square. It is square root of so, by substituting an equals to c1, 1 plus r is to n plus c2 into 1 minus r is to n and expand converting this into the polar coordinate form, you will get an equals to root 2 raised to n into k1 cos n pi by 4 plus k2 into sin n pi by 4 where k1 equals to c1 plus c2 and k2 equal to c1 minus c2 into i. And uh, by substituting n equal to 0 and n equals to 1, you will get two equations and solving those equations, you will get k1 and k2 values. So, k1 is equal to 1 and k2 is equal to 1. So, therefore, your an equals to root 2 raised to n cos n pi by 4 plus sin n pi by 4 with n greater than 0 is the solution. Next is a uh, case 3 where r1 and r2 are the repeated real roots. So, here example a n plus 2 equals to 4 a n plus 1 minus 4 a n with a 0 equals to 1 and a 1 equals to 3. So, the recurrence relations characteristic equation will be r square minus 4 r plus 4 equal to 0 and the roots are 2 comma 2. Here you can observe they are repeated. So, when they are repeated, I will write the general solution as a n equals to c 1 2 raise to n plus c 2 into n into 2 raise to n. So, now by substituting n equal to 0 and n equals to 1, I will get c1 equals to 1 and 3 equals to 2c1 plus 2c2. So, by substituting c1 value, I will get c2 as 1 by 2. Therefore, the solution will be an equals to 2 raise to n plus 1 by 2 into n into 2 raise to n, which implies an equals to 2 raise to n plus n into this 2 power 1, I will move it towards the ray numerator so you will get 2 raised to n minus 1 with n greater than or equal to 0 is a unique solution. Thank you.